Iniciar. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. <laughs> Hi, work. Nestor. Good evening. How are you? Thank you so much for being on time. It seems like you're the only one who has some time today. Nope. Christian just joined. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, good evening, guys. Arita se van uniendo todos. No problem. Good evening. Hi, Ale. Good evening. Excellent. I'm so glad you're here, guys. It is Wednesday. It is the middle of the week. El ombligo de la semana. I woke up at 5 a.m. today because I am. Un poquito de chit chat, right? En lo que se unen los demás. Um, because I'm covering some hours for a coworker. Le estoy cubriendo unas horas a, un, a una compañera de trabajo. So, um, I clocked in. Marqué. I started to work at 6 a.m. Yes, 6 a.m. Un poquito antes de las 6. Un poquito antes de las 6. And I usually start working at 8 a.m. So that was a big change for me. Y hice un solo jalón hasta las 5. So ahorita ya tengo un buen ratito de estar despierta. But that's fine. We will do our best. Thank you so much for joining today, guys. It is the middle of the week. Así que estamos con todos los ánimos. It is the middle of the week, Wednesday. Uh, 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 we have Marta, Christian, Ale, and Nestor. Awesome. All right, guys. So today we have quite a lot of material to cover. Tenemos un poco de material que cubrir. Because remember, guys, que el día viernes estaríamos haciendo el review del midterm test. Yeah. So it is a very important that we can... Um, that we can advance in the platform, que podamos avanzar en la platform. And that you can work on it and that you can tell me if everything's clear, si hay algo más que les gustaría que repasáramos. But for right now, vamos a seguir viendo los contents, guys. Yesterday, estuvimos viendo um, medical, topics like the parts of the body, las partes del cuerpo, and also some very useful vocabulary. For example, nurse, um, some medications, right? Some illnesses, some sicknesses, como vomiting, some very useful vocabulary, for example, over-the-counter medications. Y me quiero disculpar con ustedes because no les mandé el link so that you could practice that vocabulary, pero se los voy a mandar hoy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry que no se los mandé, pero I will. No se me ha olvidado. All right, guys. So we are eight people now. It is usually like this. Siempre es usualmente así. It is usually like this. Um, a medida va avanzando la semana, se van uniendo menos y menos y menos y menos personas because we're getting tired, right? As I understand. Es normal. So, how are you today, guys? How are you? Good evening, guys. How is everyone? How are Bye. you? Very good, awesome. and you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. How is the rest? I see Marta, Cristian Molina, Cristian Castro. Rocio, Jennifer, Nubia, and Nestor. Nestor was here before me. He's super punctual, super puntual. So, so how is everyone doing, guys? How are you? Um, how are you, Marta? Hello? I know you can no. hear me porque me han contestado. I said, hi, Marta, good evening. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm good, thank you. I just wanted to know how you are. Thank you for joining our class. And I think 
Uh -huh. Good evening, Rocio. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you, Rocio? Very nice. Awesome. That's good to hear. And I see that Sergio just joined. Hi, Sergio. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that, guys. We are 10 people now. And then Nilsson just joined. Good. That's great. We are 11 people now, taking me into account. So, and it is eight with zero five minutes, guys. So, what? ¿Les parece si comenzamos? Should we begin? Yes. Awesome. Yes. Love that. Love the attitude. Perfect. So, yesterday, guys, lo único que nos faltó cubrir about, um, aparte de parts of the body, we also were to see the common medications. Esto es rapidito. This is very simple, guys. For example, if I were to ask, um, let's see, if I were to ask Cristian Castro, Hi, Christian. Hi. Hi, Christian. If I asked you, what do you take when you have a cough? Cow. Mm -hmm. Hi, you can take cough drops, correct, or? Or this well, one. Right? I don't know it. <laughs> ah, that's okay. No problem. Thank mm -hmm. you. So, guys, okay. we have the basic medications, right? Common medications, las más comunes, which are used for uh, when you have a cough. Cut them. Cough. When we have a cold. What's a cold, guys? Que es un cold? Refrío. Correct, un resfriado. Or when you have a cough. ¿Cuál es el cough? Tos. Correct. Tos. Excellent. You cough, cough, cough. Right? That was a very bad cough. It's not si no se, no se tose, whatever. Stand in there. You got it. Um, and you have, sometimes you have a headache and you can take some aspirin, for example. O oh, aspirinita for kids. Or sometimes your legs hurt. Nos duelen las piernas. Sometimes your legs hurt. So you put on some cofal, right? And that's a cream, muscle cream. Cofal, um, what else? Marihuanol, whatever. Those are all muscle creams. Cream, crema, right? Muscle, vimos que era muscle. Crema muscular. muscular. Correct. Perfect. So it is a cream that you apply on your muscles when they hurt, right? Vamos a empezar a practicar uh, en lugar de contestar en español. Vamos a decir, okay, what's a muscle cream? It's a cream that you apply on your muscle when they hurt, right? And also, if your eyes are dry or itchy, si nuestros ojos están secos o nos pican, we can apply some eye drops, right? So, let's do this right here. Veamos. Que serían estas, guys? What would this be? What does this look like? ¿Qué les parece que es esto? Correct. Correct. So that would be eye drops. Las gotas para los ojos se llaman eye drops. Eye drops. Correct. So, si las gotas de los ojos se llaman eye drops, estas que se llaman cough drops, ¿qué serían?
como Son pastilla gotas. para la garganta. Uh -huh. Correct. So, for example, um, ¿han visto, for example, esas pastillas Mentolito. como las zorritones? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Correct. So, those are cough drops. Pills Coast. that you take so that it numbs your throat. It numbs your throat. Porque cuando tenemos tos, nos arde la garganta, right? De tanto estar toseando. If you, you're coughing and coughing so much that your throat hurts. So you take some cough drops to calm down the pain. Para calmar el dolor. To calm down the pain. Yeah? Excellent. And when you want the cough to go away, you can have some cough syrup or you can take some cough syrup. Right? Um, this is a liquid. It's a jarabe, right? Syrup, jarabe. So this is the liquid form of the cough drops, basically. Liquid medicine. Now, we also saw muscle cream. Que ya dijimos que es, por ejemplo, ¿cuál sería un ejemplo de muscle cream? Cofal. Correct. Cofal. Correct. And um, you apply it for pain, right? Marihuana, all of those creams. Hoy hay un montón. And now we also have antiacids. ¿Alguien toma antiacidos aquí? No. No. No, todos son bien sanos. Wow. I do. I take antiacids because I had. I um, take Tums. Yeah. Yeah, Tums I are really good. Tums. ¿A dónde compra yeah. Tums? I can't find Tums. In the supermarket. Market. Yeah. In like which market. one? Yeah. Like, uh, these cascadas. Oh, con razón. Me subido. <laughs> say, I will. I will, I will, I will go. Si tengo ratos de estar buscando Tums and I can't find no. it. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Tums are a perfect example of an anti-acid, right? Para quienes sufrimos de eso, we know that they are so necessary. Um, I don't know about you, pero si no, yo no puedo ni dormir del ardor. So, anti-acids, los antiácidos, right? So, for example, Tums. Tums son un buen example of antiacids. And we also have aspirin. Now, aspirin, antes se tomaba siempre que había dolor de cabeza, right? Now, los doctores nos han dicho que pues como es un blood thinner, nos adelgaza la sangre, es un blood thinner, uh, it's not so good to take it por aquello del no vaya a ser, but It is usually taken for headaches. So let's do headaches. Right? Entiendo que también le recetan mucho el, la aspirin a personas que um, tienen problemas del corazón and they need to drink blood thinners or take blood thinners. So, estas son las más comunes, guys. Ah, y esta. This one. Cold pills. Entonces habíamos dicho que cold era el resfriado. So cold pills. ¿Qué es pills, guys? Píldoras. Correct. Píldoras o pastillas. Excellent. So cold pills is the medicine for a cold. Or the flu, for example. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre a cold and the flu? A cold is, in, is un resfrío y flu is una gripe. Correct. So the flu is usually stronger than the cold, right? El, the flu usualmente pega más fuerte que el, que el resfriado. Um, and then, those are the most common medications, guys. Now... Esto es sin nombre, right? For example. Por ej porque, por ejemplo, claro, todos los medicamentos tienen su nombre. For example, as we were learning yesterday about how to say diabetes. 
And for diabetes, las personas que conozcan a alguien que tiene diabetes o que tengan diabetes saben reconocer this medication, metformin. Right? Correct. La metformina, right? So that's metformin. Um, and there are... Ibendazole. Correct. Correct. Much, encontraron que muchos de esos son iguales y solo cambia un poco de la pronunciación, right? Then, you may not find, casi no van a encontrar, for example, acetaminophen. It is called acetaminophen, but um, casi no se encuentra. Lo dicen de nombres genéricos, for example. They call it Tylenol, Advil, okay. many other things. But esos son nombres comerciales, right? It's not the name of the medication. And then what else? For example, going back to diabetes, you may hear that someone's taking insulin. Insulin. Correct. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Well, the aspirin. Esta no sé si la escuchan seguido. This is for high blood pressure, para presión arterial, cinepril. Son de las... Mm -hmm, correct. Mm -hmm. Todos esos medicamentos, así. But, digamos que para decir que necesitan tomar algo, estos son los más comunes. So, cough drops, cough syrup. I'm cold. I need to go buy some cough syrup. I... Um, I, um, I went to play football and let's see, and my legs hurt. What should I use, guys? Muscle cream. Muscle cream, that's correct. Because my legs hurt, so I need to apply some muscle cream for the pain. And, okay, muy importante. Um, the antiacid. El reflujo, in English, it's called heartburn. Heartburn. Used for heartburn. Heartburn. Porque it burns here, right? Como si estuviera en el corazón. It burns. Yeah, out of it. So called heartburn. Awesome. So guys. And if you have a stomach ache, what can you take if you have a stomach ache, guys? Esencia de menta. No, I don't know. So it's more? <laughs> For example, uh -huh, okay. Pepto bismol, stomach ache. Pepto bismol, what else? Si no sabemos de un medicamento específico, we can just say pain medication. Me duele, I have, uh, my body hurts. El cuerpo me duele, my body hurts. My head hurts. My, um, I don't know, my, um, my feet hurt, my stomach hurts. Y no sabemos específicamente qué recomendarle a la persona. Le podemos decir solo, take some pain medication, right? No le queremos decir, take some um, panadol, right? Sino solo, take some pain medication. Y ya la persona se va a tomar lo que ellos tengan de pain medication, right? Y así lo podemos usar para cualquier otro tipo de medication. Si le queremos preguntar a alguien si está tomando medicamento for um, high blood pressure, para presión arterial alta, are you taking any medication for your heart blood pressure? Así lo voy a poner, pero ustedes saben que es heart blood pressure. High blood, blood pressure. pressure, I'm sorry. High blood pressure. Are you taking any medication for your high blood pressure? No le estamos diciendo, are you taking lisinopril, right? Porque no hemos ni de saber cómo se llama. 
but um, are you taking any medication? Y um, there's not really a difference, no hay realmente una diferencia between medication and medicine, sino que usualmente medicine se ocupa más como para referirse a los doctores, right? So they are, um, for example, I work in the medicine field, en el campo médico, right? And then medications, medicamentos. Yeah, pero you can also say, uh, I need to buy some medicine. Yes, está bien. That's fine as well. ¿Sí? Any questions, guys, about medications? ¿Alguna otra medication that you want to know? Or is that clear? Is it clear, guys? Is it not clear? Clear. Awesome. What about the rest? Is it clear? Any questions? No. No? All right. Very well. Esto era bastante cortito, guys. Si les surge alguna duda, you can always ask me. So, okay. but if there are no questions right now, let's go ahead and let's move on on to the next topic which is have plus noun and feel plus adjective what does that mean have plus noun and feel plus adjective well we're gonna see it in just one moment but first vamos a leer la conversation we're gonna read the conversation so necesito take this off no. All right, cool. There we go. All right. So, can I have two volunteers to read this conversation? Two guys, two gentlemen. Hi. Okay, we have one, Christian. Excellent. Who's, uh, who's going to be the second person? Me, Perfect. Awesome. All right. So we have Christian and Eden Nilsson. Perfect. So can Christian please be Brian and Eden okay. Nilsson be Kenichi? Go ahead, guys. Take it over. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a head ash, head ash, and a back ash. Maybe you have the flu? No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's the bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel very already. Excellent, okay. guys. Thank you so much. I want to uh, I want to congratulate Christian on the accent. Excellent pronunciation, Christian. Awesome. Thanks. Sure. Awesome. Excellent, guys. So. Let's review this conversation. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Very important. Vamos a ir marcando the keywords. What's the matter? Oh, I have a headache and the backache. Backache. Correct. Backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think have. There we go again. Have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. 
but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now, guys, ¿qué podemos notar? What's the difference? Why do I use feel for better, for homesick? And why do I use have for headache and for the flu? Why, guys? Why do you think that is? ¿Por qué creen que sea así? ¿Por qué usamos have con headache, con flu? ¿Y por qué usamos feel con homesick y con better? Porque se refieren a la persona. Feel. Un estado y otro sentir. Sentir okay. enfermo. Correct, correct. Por ahí va la cosa. Correct, guys. Excellent. So, debemos saber que have siempre lo vamos a ocupar con nouns. Vamos a poner la whiteboard. Here we go with the whiteboard. Have siempre lo vamos a ocupar con nouns. Have. Always use with nouns. ¿Y cuáles son los nouns, guys? Who can give me an example of a noun? ¿Quién me puede dar un example of a noun? Um, Sorry? Stomach. Stomach. Water. Okay. Water, correct. What else? Pills. Pill de las. Oh, pills, okay. What else? What else is a noun? All right, guys. So let's remember. We have nouns, we have adjectives, we have adverbs. In nouns is everything and anything that has a name. For example, cell phone, right? Nombres, cell phone, that's a noun. Doorknob, shirt, headphones, hair. Glasses. Todos esos son nouns. Todo lo que no es un sentimiento. Table, correct. Table, computer, class. Todos esos son nouns. Todo lo que no sea un sentimiento, ni sea una indicación. For example, with adverbs, que son una manera de hacer. Adverbs of, de modo, de manera, etc. Todo lo que es un nombre de una cosa, persona o cosa. Then that is a noun. So anything can be a noun, right? A pillow, an almohada, shirt, table, como me decía. So what else, guys? What else can be a tooth. noun? Correct. Tooth. What else? Hair. House. Hair, correct. And todos estos son examples of nouns, right? So we are always to use have with those. ¿Cómo así? I have a stomach. I have a bottle of water. I have some pills. I have a pillow. Vamos a ponerlo aquí. I have a stomach. Y puedo decir que I have a stomach ache, right? I have a stomach ache. I have some water. Oh, I have some pills. Para ambos. I have 
a green pillow, for example. Y todos estos estamos usando have. ¿Por qué? Porque son nouns. ¿Por qué stomach ache, headache, um, I don't know, muscle ache? Todos esos son nouns. Porque sí, lo sentimos, pero you have it, right? No es un sentimiento, sino que es, nos duele por algo más. Entonces tiene un nombre, que es el nombre de este malestar, which is stomach ache, headache. So I have a headache. I have a stomach ache. Y siempre vamos a usar feel. Feel. Con adjectives. ¿Cuáles son los adjectives, guys? What do we use adjectives for? ¿Para qué usamos adjectives? Sick. Correct. Sick can be an example. What else? What else is an adjective? Happy. Correct. Tired. Correct. Got worried. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, angry. Correct. Sad. Sad. Pretty. I feel awesome. Awesome. I feel sleepy. I feel boring. Bored. Yes, bored. El adjetivo, bored. Okay. Boring. Algo is boring. For example, algunas personas pueden decir, um, sports are boring or reading is boring. Watching TV is boring. Something is boring, but you are bored, right? De aburrido el adjetivo, bored. So she is bored, you are bored, we are bored. Awesome. And something is boring. So these are all these are all examples of adjectives. We use adjectives to describe things, right? Usamos los adjetivos para describir cosas. They describe things. So you can feel sick, you can feel happy, feel tired, feel bored feel angry, I feel sad, I feel pretty. Y puedo usar un adverbio de por medio. For example, I feel very pretty. Right? Y así lo podemos ir modificando. ¿Por qué aquí tengo que decir I have some water? Por un contable. Correct. Because water is an uncountable noun. Es un no contable. So I can't say one water or two waters, right? Tengo que decir bottle of water, some water, glass of water. Y así lo vamos a ir modificando. Depende de lo que queramos decir. Yo aquí puse, por ejemplo, I have a green pillow. Pero podría haber puesto solo I have a pillow. O I have three pillows. El punto es que lo vamos a usar de la siguiente manera. El subject plus have plus noun. Esta es la manera básica, right? Plus a. Bueno, no necesariamente a, pero vamos a poner aquí que es... Um, el complemento o el auxiliar que necesitemos usar, right? Auxiliary. Plus now. That will depend, esto va a depender de lo que queramos decir. El subject puede ser I, he, she, they, right? Etc. Have. For example, I, um, y vamos a usar have o has, 
right? Porque he has, she has, right? So for example, she has a, puede ser un auxiliary, shirt. O también, they have three what three cakes y así lo vamos a ir cambiando depende de lo que queramos decir lo que tenemos que saber es que have lo vamos a usar siempre con los nouns y fill lo vamos a usar siempre para adjectives y este sí es más simple porque solo nos dice I feel pretty, I feel awesome, I feel sleepy. Y ya si le queremos agregar algo más, I feel very pretty, I feel a little bit sick, I feel just a little, uh, just a little tired. Y así lo podemos ir modificando. ¿Sí, guys? Any questions about have and feel? Se comprende? Is it clear? Do you have any questions? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Any questions, guys, about that? Or no? No? No. Okay, what about the no, rest? No, Awesome. Love that. Una no. preguntita, teacher. No. Este, eh, ahí puso I has. No, eh, I'm sorry. Eh. Aquí sería como para darle el ejemplo de subject, que puede ser subject, puede ser I, he, she, they, puede ser have o has, dependiendo de she has, I have, he has, she has, they have. We have sí, sí, ya, ya, sí, yo le eso le iba a preguntar porque sí, me parecía raro, gracias. Sí, no, ok, no problem. Lo vamos a poner así, como que es parte de, right. Thank you. Sí, muy bien. What else, guys? Any other questions? No? All right, so let's review no. this right here. Nos pueden hacer diferentes preguntas. What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, I have a headache. Or I feel tired. So debemos saber cuál es el noun, cuál es el adjective. Si nos preguntan, how are you? I'm good. Puedo contestar, I'm good. I feel good. I don't feel good. I don't feel well, etc. How do you feel? Ahí sí, nos están diciendo, how do you feel? Y con eso vamos a contestar, right? Porque nos están diciendo, how do you feel? I feel homesick, I feel tired, I feel... Nos están preguntando directamente, how do you feel? Para todas las demás, podríamos contestar con, um, I'm good, uh, nothing's wrong. For example, si nos dicen, what's the matter? ¿Qué, qué, qué sucede? Nothing, no, everything's fine, right? O si les queremos contar, pues ya les decimos, I have a headache, I have a backache, I have the flu. O nos pueden hacer variaciones de esa pregunta, right? Um, what's up? How do you feel? Uh, how, um, any, any type of question like that, about, right? Asking about how we are. ¿Sí? Aquí hay algunos ejemplos de negative adjectives. Sick, awful, terrible, miserable. Que es exagerado, right? Feeling miserable. Y positive adjectives. Fine, great, terrific, and fantastic. Este adjective casi siempre se confunde con que terrific es malo, right? Pareciera que es malo, right? 
but terrific se usa como that's terrific es como buenísimo right so guys any questions about have plus noun and feel plus adjective how to use it when to use it y con que usarlo or is that clear It's clear. Awesome. What about the rest? Is it clear? Awesome. Cool. So, guys, let me ask you, how are you doing with the platform? ¿Cómo están con la platform, guys? Where are you on the platform? ¿Cómo van con la platform? Excellent. ¿Y en qué section están? Section 1, section 2? Section 3. Awesome. Perfect. What about the rest? ¿Los demás? Section 1. Section 2, I'm section 1. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Remember que ya estamos avanzando. So that, así puedan ustedes ya, mm, mm, la, this week, by the end of this week, hacer el midterm test para que vayamos avanzando, guys. Now, guys, we're going to do the reading. Vamos a hacer este reading. 10 simple ways to improve your health. Pero quiero que me cargue esto. There we go. So allow me just one moment, que a veces cuando estoy sharing screen, for some reason, no carga, but give me just one moment. Pero I'm glad que vayamos avanzando. I heard someone was in section three. That's great. Si están en section one, no pasa nada tampoco. It's great. Si tienen alguna pregunta, algún knowledge check, remember that you can ask um, on WhatsApp o en nuestras clases. So let's just go ahead and do the reading, guys. Just one moment. Very well. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Voicing. Oh, think... Excellent. Can you read the screen? Se puede leer la pantalla? Can you read the screen? No. Yes. Cool. Excellent. Oh, le damos zoom. What do you do? You need the screen to be bigger. Yes. No. Yes. Cool. No problem. One moment. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. Así está mejor. Is this better? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Cool. Perfect. Entonces, can I please have... Let's see. Can I please have Norma read number one? Hello? All right, no problem. In that case, can I please have Guillermo read number one? Eat breakfast. Breakfast uh, gives you energy for the morning. Excellent, Guillermo. Thank you very much. Recordemos que estas son 10 simple ways to improve your health. Para improve, mejorar, improve your health. So number one, eat breakfast. It is very important. And can I please have Lucrecia read number two? Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise and exercise is necessary for work field. Excellent. <laughs> That's okay. For good health, perfect. Thank you, Lucrecia. Now let's see, 
let's read number three, please, Catherine. Flush your teeth, don't to brush them. Flushing keeps your gum beaten. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. Correct. Do you know what flossing is, guys? Saben que es flossing? No. Nope. Nope. No flushing. Flossing. Flushing, sí. Ah. Flushing, sí, pero okay. flossing. Okay. So, so flossing is el hilo dental. That is flossing. So floss your teeth. Usa hilo dental. Flossing. 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 Ah, sí. Flossing. Okay. Flossing. Flossing. Usar hilo dental. Flossing. All right. Now. Can I please have mm -mm -mm. Marlene, read number four. Number four, um, drink eight cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. Awesome, Marlene, excellent pronunciation. Yes, drink eight cups of water every day. Perfect. And let's go ahead with number five, Eden Nilsson. Not stretching is important for your muscles. Excellent. Stretching is important for your muscles. Stretch for five minutes every day, guys. Sobre todo si pasan sentados. Stretch. Please go for number six, Sergio. Hello, Sergio, are you here? Sorry. No problem. Here I am. What's the number? Number six. Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belt say thousand of life. Excellent, Sergio. Thank you so much. Remember to wear your seat belts, guys. Now, can I please have Nubia read number seven? Do something to challenge for its. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Excellent. Do a crossword puzzle. That is a puzzle. Or read a new book. Excellent. Let's do number eight, Cristian Castro. Okay. Yeah. ¿Cuál me dijo, teacher? Perdón. Number eight. Okay. Protect your action. You, you love of moisturizer and sunscreen. Excellent. Thank you so much, Christian. Yes, protect your skin. You use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. Perfect. And let's go ahead with number nine, please, Ali. Get an out calcium. Your bones need, need it. Dairy foods like yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. Excellent, Ali. Thank you. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Mm -hmm. Correct. Get enough calcium. And let's do number 10. Nestor. Hello. Sorry, no. No problem. Then the uh, microphone. That's okay. Uh, take a take a time up a uh, break of the about uh, twenty minutes. Uh, do some time uh, different. Di 
different. For example, get get up and walk or this down and listen to music. Excellent, Nestor. Thank you so much. Yes, taking a time out is very important. Taking a break of about 20 minutes, doing something different, getting up, walking or sitting down and listening to music. Excellent, guys. So, antes de que pasemos a otra cosa, guys. ¿Hay alguna palabra que no conozcan de este reading? Ya vimos lo que era flossing. ¿Hay alguna otra palabra que no conocieran? Or that you want to review the pronunciation or the meaning? Teacher, and protect your skin. Uh -huh. Moist, moisturizer. Ah, correct. Moisturizer. Correct. ¿Alguien sabe qué es moisturizer? Como masa. No. Correct. Moisturizer es crema humectante. O humectante. Moisturizer humectante. So, if I say moisturize. What is it stretching? Skin. Ahorita voy. Number five. Perfect. Number five, stretching. This is stretching. Is the stretching? Estira. No. Correct. Okay. That is stretching. So that is very important. What else, guys? ¿Qué otra palabra? In seven crosswalk. Oh, crossword puzzles. ¿Alguien sabe qué es un crossword puzzle? Sopa de letras. No. Nope. Es un crucigrama. Correct. Crucigrama. That is the crossword puzzle. El crucigrama. So we also have to take care of our brain, right? We have to keep our brains healthy. Si no nos va a tocar tomar foscroll. Challenge your or brain, Sudoku. guys. Or Sudoku. Sudoku is so great. It is very cool. Sudoku, um, word search. La sopa de letras es esta. Sopa de letras is word search. And Sudoku, right? It's the same thing, okay? It's Japanese. And what do you think about this? Simple ways of improving health, guys. Do you think they work? What else would you say that is a good way to be healthy? ¿Qué otra recommendation podrían dar? To be healthy. Yeah. Eat vegetables. Correct. Eating vegetables is so important. Correct, Dalia. What else, guys? ¿Qué otra recommendation podrían dar? Así como la que dijo Ale. Go to bed early. Correct. Yes. Going to bed early. Who goes to bed early? Of uh, the ones who are here, guys. Who goes to sleep early? Do you go to sleep early, Marlene? Yes, yes, at um, 9.30 or Wow, 10. that's great. Awesome. You rest mm -hmm. a lot. And do you wake up early? In the morning? In the morning. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, wake I up wake early? Up. Yes, I wake up for... What? At 4? Why? Yes. Every day. <laughs> because I because I um, begin yeah. to work at 6.30. Wow, that's very early. And you have to travel look, from when, where you live to where you work? <laughs> no. No? No. Wow, that's no. very early. I admire that. 
Yeah. Awesome. Because every every day I have, <laughs> it's, uh, I I feel uh, tired. Ah, uh, even 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 if you're going to sleep at nine at nine p.m. Mm. Yes. Wow. But I I feel tired. <laughs> Yeah, I, I bet. It's very early, 4 a.m. Wow, that's very early. Thank you for sharing, yeah. Marlene. Yeah. And what about the rest, guys? What time do you wake up? Who wants to share? Or what time do you go to sleep? Do you go to sleep early or very late? Very late. Very late? At what time? Uh, 11 o'clock. Wow, hey, me too. At around 11 o'clock, me too. Yeah, and what time do you wake up? Um, I wake six. up at, six, at 5 a.m. Wow, we all wake up early, I see. Todos nos despertamos temprano to work. I see that. Oh, that's great. I go to sleep at around 11 also because I have to upload the classes and I have another class after this one. So um, I have to do that one and then I go to sleep. So yeah, guys. Todos estamos trabajando. All right, guys. So let me go ahead and share my screen with you very quickly para mostrarles here what we've covered. I want to show you that we have covered right now the section one. We saw months and dates so far. Hemos visto months and dates. Vimos el future with going to, remember? Vimos como ser going to. We most holidays in the US. We also saw some reductions of going to Ghana. I'm Ghana, um, I was Ghana, etc. We most holidays in the US. And we also saw some special occasions, right? All around the world. And you did an exercise about that. We most questions with going to when we saw how to use going to. And we did a reading. So right now, you should be able and good to do one, two, and three knowledge checks. Tenemos, estamos listos para hacer three knowledge checks of section one. And then in section two, ya vimos parts of the body. Vimos have plus noun today. And vimos eh, y also some vocabulary about common medications. So right now you should be able to do, let's see, one and about two. No, this one, no, porque no hemos visto imperatives. But you should be able to do two knowledge checks. Awesome, guys. And tomorrow, tomorrow. and Friday, we are going to cover section three tomorrow. We are going to be talking about imperatives and vocabulary about places and things. And also we are going to be seeing some pronunciation. And then on Friday, vamos a ver prepositions of place. Y vamos a ver el midterm test, guys. We're going to practice with a reading, but we're going to review the midterm test. So you will be all ready to go in the middle of the module. Para que estemos listos a hacer el middle of the module, guys. So I just want to remind you to work on the platform. Recuerden, trabajar en la platform. Pueden hacerlo 24-7. Está disponible at any time and, and any day so that you guys can work on the platform. En cualquier momento y a cualquier hora y cualquier día. And if you need any help 
o you have any questions de algún knowledge check, háganmelo saber and I'll try to help you via WhatsApp. Y también les estaría mandando today the link so that you can practice um, medical vocabulary. Yeah, ¿les parece? Okay. Yes, no? Yeah, thank awesome. you. Awesome, cool. All right, guys. So in that case, it is 9 p.m. So uh, that would be all for today. But thank you very much for joining today. And I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Hey, good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you.